Hey guys, it's Nate with Sauce Ain't Boss here again, and today is day number 77 of quitting drinking alcohol. Um, you know, today I was driving back from uh, a hike with my wife. We went on a five mile hike after we got done working on that rental I've been talking about. We had a big family get together down there today. It was my two boys, my nephew, uh, my good buddy Craig, and uh, uh, wife, of course, and my mother in law. And we just went to town on cleaning up this rental. Uh, and we got a lot of progress done, I gotta say, you know. And uh, we had a good time just finding some of the odd stuff we were finding in this place and how bad it actually was. And, you know, we just tried to turn a, a negative into a positive. And it was actually kind of a fun day. But uh, after that, my wife and I went for this hike and went grocery shopping together. And uh, just been a good day, just getting stuff done. I went to the dump, took a lot of this stuff uh it needed to be tossed, tossed. And uh, as we were driving back in the car, you know, she mentioned that uh, um, she really sees the change in me uh, since I quit drinking, how I'm becoming a different person. And I don't know if a lot of you know this, but her and I were um, high school sweethearts. We started dating when we were about 15 years old and she's the only girlfriend I ever had. Um, and uh, we got married when we were, she's going to kill me if I get this one wrong. <laughs> we were, I was 22. I think she was 23. She's five months and five days older than I am. And anyway, long story short, you know, we've been together forever. So she's seen me, um, as a 15 year old non drinker to me picking up my bad habit to struggling with it, to, um, my ups and downs over the years. I mean, we've been, uh, you know, for lack of a better term, soulmates. I mean, um, we have just been there for everything uh, with each other. And um, anyway, she mentioned in the car today that she's seeing me become the person that, you know, she married me for um, and who I used to be. And, you know, um, you kind of, as a drinker, lose yourself sometimes to alcohol and you lose your qualities. And, um, I remember when I was um, drinking, I used to see people out there that were non-drinkers that just seemed super happy, you know, and not that uh, being a non-drinker is what creates happiness. There's a lot of other things involved in creating a happy life, but I would see these non-drinkers and, um, you know, they seem to have more discipline, obviously. Maybe that's a part of um, not letting alcohol take over your life, you, you have a good life, you're disciplined. Um, these people were successful at their careers maybe. Um, they just seem to have a good uh, spring in their step, a gleam in their eye and happy, you know? And I go, I want more of that, you know? And I used to be that. And then slowly but surely, alcohol kind of just drained that away from me and I let it, you know? Um, and so I'm starting to get that back. I'm starting to get back, you know, my kids, you know, like my wife mentioned today, my kids have never really truly seen who I am. Uh, from the time that they were born, I was a drinker until this year. And um, yeah, it's kind of a bum deal. And uh, it, it's not kind of a bum deal, it is. And, um, you know, um, so I guess... What I'm trying to say to you guys is that, um, you know, we see other people and, and their happiness and sometimes we might want that or we see qualities in other people that we wish you had. And I've never been a jealous person whatsoever. If I see somebody's got something or they have a, a quality, um, I just kind of go, wow, how can I become more like that? Or what do I need to do to achieve that in life? You know, and I'm happy for people that um, are doing well. It, it does me well to see people do well. You know, it's just always been my mindset and how I feel about things. And um, I didn't realize when I was drinking that I was losing myself as much as I was. I was becoming this troll of a person, you know, that was uh, depressed and miserable and um, just uh, the constant conflict that comes along with uh, battling alcohol every single day, you know. And uh, I've always had in me that I wanted to be the best I could be even when I was drinking. And I think that those of us that are drinkers that want to get away from it, um, have that inside ourselves of wanting to be a better person. We know we're not on the right path, you know, and, um, 
So, I mean, that puts us in a, in a category, I think, that, um, you know, is at least to start because I think there's a lot of drinkers out there, like I mentioned in the past, that just say, I'm a drinker. That's what I am. That's what I'm going to do. There's no way in hell I'm giving it up and uh, I'm going to do it till the day I die and don't tell me I'm not drinking, you know. And that's, everybody's got a choice and, and uh, makes their own life the way that they want it to. And uh, if that's what somebody wants to do, that's their choice. Uh, I think for a lot of us, though, that's not for us. And uh, if you're in that constant, um, you know, turmoil where you don't have peace in your life because you're battling drinking, not drinking, going back to drinking, knowing you're on the wrong path, you're never going to have that inner peace until you uh, just surrender and say, I'm done with alcohol for good. Um, and I remember always going, gosh, it's so hard to say I'm quitting alcohol forever because, uh, you know, I, I just can't say that, you know, and uh, it's, it's really pretty silly. And for some of us do the mind game where, you know, a lot of people say one day at a time or uh, I'm just not drinking today and I probably won't drink tomorrow. I uh, read a story about a guy that used to say that to himself every day. I'm not drinking today and I'm probably not drinking tomorrow every day he woke up and you know whatever you got to do to get through the uh, initial process or maybe for the rest of the process through your life you know say to yourself these little things you know that um, will get you through but uh, yeah it just hit me when my wife said that today about you know um, she's starting to see the real me again and my kids are experiencing that for the first time it's kind of sad a little bit to hear that you're kind of like damn you know was i that big of a weirdo when i was a drinker and it, it's not to say i was but it you know like she said it you know i might be more myself during the day but when i'd start drinking the evening obviously you know and you're uh, drinking more and more you start to turn into this um person that's not really you and my kids saw me do that every single day every evening for you know, um, their whole life. And, um, so, uh, I'm finally, like I mentioned, getting to become that person I would see. And I, I was kind of that person, you know, um, in my teenage years, in my early twenties. Um, and like I say, I used to have a lot of confidence. I used to be, uh, in better shape. I used to be all the things I looked at in my drinking last few drinking years going, man, I want some more of that. How do I get that? You know? And, uh, it was a freaking alcohol holding me back and I let it, you know? And, um, so if you guys are struggling with alcohol and you're struggling with where you are in life, um, I bet a big part of it, at least it was for me was the alcohol. If you can get past that, if you can remove the alcohol from your life and give yourself enough time from it. I, I know I keep saying that you guys are, Nate keeps talking about the same crap over and over again, but it's because it's true, you know, and uh, you know, there's only so much you can talk about uh, alcohol being bad for you and life being good when you quit it. But uh, you know, if you want the meat and potatoes and dive down deep into this stuff, it's uh, the reality is um, you aren't going to, um, ever become who you truly want to be the best version of yourself if that's your goal in life if you're getting drunk every night it's just uh, I know for a fact because I did it for two decades it ain't gonna happen you know and I can I can tell you now that uh, it's starting to happen and it takes you know uh, if this is where I'm at on day 77 um, you know I look forward to where I'll be at on day 365 uh, at two years you know um, you don't instantly just stop drinking and boom you know, I'm Superman, you know, I'm the person I've always wanted to be, you know, and um, it's a gradual process. And I think that a lot of us are impatient. That's one of the reasons I drank was I want instant gratification. I want everything now. I've always been the kind of guy, if I start a project, I just want to get it done. It's just now, 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 you know, and uh, this process isn't that, you know, and, and uh, that's been one of the biggest challenges for me is realizing that and give it the time. And being on day 77 now, I go, man, you know, I'm so glad I put up with the, the slow process up into here. And now it just keeps getting better and better and better. And I've already gotten past the 77 days of just, uh, not that the whole 77 days were bad or whatever. It's been uh, a lot of rewarding experience along the way. The first month is, the, I think, the biggest challenge. But then as you start to go, you go, man, I wish I would have done this a long time ago knowing um, now that uh, it gets so much easier and you start seeing these huge benefits and it starts paying off, you know, and I mean, for my family or my wife to say that today and, and 
uh, my son, my oldest son, I mentioned some of my other videos that him and I have kind of clashed over the years. And part of it, a big part of it was me, obviously. A little bit on his side, too, with, you know, being a teenager and, you know, challenging the old man. And I remember doing that to my dad and stuff. So, you know, uh, but I always take all blame on things because that's just, I'd rather look at myself than try to pin something on somebody else. You know, it's just how I am. And, um, you know, but... Uh, He's been, uh, like today I went to the dump to take some of this garbage, you know, from this project we're working on uh, over there. And, you know, he wanted to go with me. I mean, back when I was drinking, he just kept his distance from me all the time, you know, and I don't blame him, you know, but uh, just little things like that. It's just like, wow, that would have never happened. And all these beautiful things that are starting to happen in my life because I quit my wife saying what she said, my kids opening up to me. I mean, and I've mentioned this stuff and I, I keep mentioning it, but you know, um, it's just worth mentioning so many times because it's uh, what life's all about. It's about, you know, all these beautiful things that exist that I've been missing out on for the last 20 years because I've been drinking so darn much, you know, and um, I'm just really thankful and happy to be where I am now. So um, if you're out there and you're seeing, I want more of that. I want to be that guy. I want to be that girl. I want to be the person that, uh, you know, has their crap put together then stop drinking and give yourself enough time to start realizing that that's in you and you can be that. I mean, we're all capable of being who we want to be. Um, you just have to get the alcohol out of your life, give it some time and start working on yourself. That's it. It's, you know, the process isn't that difficult, you know, if you really uh, put it in steps and you do one thing at a time, stop drinking the alcohol, give the, the process some time, you know, once you're at past the 30 days, you know, make, make yourself go that 30 days. Don't fall back into the temptation one weekend, two weeks and three, give yourself the 30 days and, and don't have in your mind, well, after 30 days, if this ain't working out, I'm just going to go back to drinking, you know, don't have that mindset, but then continue on because, you know, I'll tell you what, month two is easier than month one, you know, and month three has been easier than month two. And, um, you know, I was talking to a family member the other day on the phone that was uh, a pretty heavy drinker as well. And they're on six months and um, they were just saying it gets so much easier too. And, and we were just talking about how the more time, the easier it gets. And we wish we would have known this, you know. And uh, so that's what I'm here to tell you guys. That's the point of this channel. Uh, if you guys are getting something out of these videos, give them a like. Um, subscribe if you can. And most importantly, remember, sauce ain't the boss. You are. You guys have a great night.